In the white gear is Tainan Dapper of Art of Jiu-Jitsu. In the blue is Ronaldo Jr. of Atos. At one point, formerly they were teammates when Tainan Dapper, uh, before AOJ, uh, split off to create their, their breakaway team. AOJ always part of the Atos network before becoming uh, their own entity. But I don't think that they ever had a relationship. They probably never trained together. And uh, it might be the first time they've ever put hands on each other. Kendall. Yeah, hard to say. Yeah, I have no idea. Look at that double collar grip from Tyne and really, like, just insisting on the posture break, which is something that you need with oh, Ronaldo in a big pick. sweep. Not going to be enough. But that is a very smart strategy with Ronaldo because, as we know, once he has his posture and he can start doing his really dynamic passing, you're in trouble, right? So if you can keep his head buried down, I can imagine that's really going to slow him down in a way that's going to be easier to attack those sweeps like we just saw right now. If there is one thing, any kind of strategy that, that people should know if you're facing off with Ronaldo Jr., is you've got to put him on the back foot. You cannot yes. allow him to come forward with pressure. You cannot allow him to come forward to get to pick up momentum because he is he is a, uh, a wrecking ball, that's for sure. But then that's Tynan's game, isn't it? The Tynan, it when he gets going... He's uh, a lot more methodical in his approach, but if you allow him to get his game going and to put on the pressure, oh, look out. Nice entry to single leg X here from Tynan. He had that guard pull and Ronaldo put his knee right in the middle and then he used that shin on shin to elevate and bring it right into single leg X. Interesting to note that this weekend, due to uh, family commitments that AOJ coach Guy Mendez is unable to attend the pants here this weekend. So in the corner, you see Jonathan Alves and Cole Abate, Tiny the AOJ up on teammates, two coaching him through First this motion. And now that's interesting, the way that yes. Dalpra disengages from that position so that he can now set up his passing game in the way that he wants. That's a very smart strategy. Yeah, I definitely think this is exactly what he planned on doing, right? Getting that, that sweep and then exiting any entanglement he was in to get the sweep and then going right into his beautiful passing that we've Look been this. seeing this week. Look at this, guard into the jackets, not just the lapel, but the whole jacket. That is a very deep grip with his foot. That is correct. Because Tynan's doing a good job of, of dealing with that lasso and pulling it across into almost like a leg drag position. Yeah. Man, he handles that, that lasso so well, right? He do, it's uh, very similar to what we've seen from Lucas Lepre with uh, dragging that leg across. If you get the leg across the body, it doesn't mean his right arm is free. Ronaldo still has a good grip on his sleeve, so it's still very annoying, of course but at least you're not being off balance with the foot in your armpit. Although now we see, wow, big sprawl from Tynan, a big kick to create some space from Ronaldo here. Neutral big position, but I, that's interesting. The neutral position, but Ronaldo Jr. doesn't elect to come up. He stays it's down. It's interesting. I think he probably assumes that Tynan would go with the same game plan again and pull, so it's probably better just to stay on bottom so he doesn't have to risk getting swept. This really is fascinating, this clash here between Dalpra, the rookie black belt, going high with Ronaldo Jr. Plata. Really is a fascinating class because they, uh, they have such contrasting styles, such contrasting uh, games. Ronaldo, of course, has uh, the experience as well. He was the middleweight champion here last year in pants, was able to take gold in that division. His first pan title, he's definitely going to be looking for a second pan title, but it's... Uh, it's interesting the way this division has played out so far. Ronaldo Jr. has had a number of matches to get through to this point against relatively unheralded athletes, whereas Tynan Dalper has beaten two very prominent names, I would say, in the middleweight mm -hmm. division. Absolutely. Real gatekeepers of that division. Absolutely. Italo Moura and then uh, Alessandre, a.k.a. Jovinho. And so. we're seeing, what we're seeing now is interesting. Ronaldo's really insisting on this lasso grip on the left side, even though the lasso is not in. But now he's placed the foot into the jacket that mm. his right foot was in before. Or his right foot still is. So now he has both feet in there. Well, I guess the one thing, even though the lasso isn't a particularly effective lasso hook, the one thing is that sleeve control yes, his uh, right Dalpra's arm, hand yep, means still that it's, isolated. yeah. Because Dalpra, he wants to use his grips. As you can see now, he's immediately got a collar. He's got one hand on the hip. That's what Dalpra really wants, yes. right? He wants to set his grips to pass. And I think Ronaldo is doing his best to, to try and deny him those grips. Yeah, he definitely is. So we're seeing uh, uh, the, the right hand. I don't think that that, that Tynan's right hand has been free up until right now, where we see a little bit of knee bar. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. Oh, no. Ronaldo Jr. seems to have suffered a knee injury. He went in on the knee bar and had a 
bad rotation of his own knee. He was throwing his leg up over the top for what looked like a K guard entry and it, let's take a look here. We can see the, I think we're gonna the sequence see that, that may have caused the Tynan's injury. Tynan's hips drop to the left and force the ankle out oh, against the is. knee. Yeah, so a lot of too much internal rotation puts the pressure on the outside of the knee like that. Injuries. It's true. I mean, he's shaking his head, but he's also tying his belt. <laughs> so very, very hard to say. Oh, uh, it does look oh. like. He's going, I guess he's going to insist on. I just don't see how he continue. He wants to continue. He wants to continue. Yeah, that was interesting. Tynan was going to help him up, and he said, no, I'm fighting. But he's literally in tears on the mat, so I'm not really sure. There is no way that this match can continue. Ronaldo Jr., he is absolutely in tears. He is holding his knee. You know, Galvao, we see I don't Galvao think he, yeah, jumping Galvao, in over here. Galvao, Galvao has actually just walked onto the mat. That is the, that is it. The moment that somebody else enters the mat, uh, it's a sign that this match is over and done with. There is, uh, there is no coming back from this kind of... Uh, this kind of situation.